Hello, I hope you're doing well and welcome to my Black Friday Lego haul video. This is what I bought on Black Friday in the store in the Netherlands and online. So I had to wait on the shipping for the last Lego sets. So now I can show you what I bought on Black Friday. First I will show you a little bit of the store in the Netherlands, especially now that we are in full lockdown. Again, just about one minute and a half. Here you see some Star Wars sets. What I will buy here is like a Marvel Advent calendar. Mostly I will buy from Amazon though, because those have at the most discounts. You see a little bit display of Lego Mario. Lego statue. Here we have a Lego Star Wars display with the Millennium Falcon. Lego Speed Champions sets. Harry Potter set over there. And this set, oh, I really want this set. Lego Creator Assembly Square. That's the one I want most. It's very expensive. Now, okay, going to the checkout. And when you go to the checkout, you can see a large statue of the Hulk. There's some plus stories of the Squid Game. Mangas merchandise. Alright, after you bought it, you can wrap it in gift paper. Which I will do now. Also bought some Joseph World Mattel dinosaurs. Now, let me start with the Lego haul. So, with Black Friday, I bought the James Bond Elsa Martin. 440 euros. Set number 10262. This one will be discontinued after the end of this year. Really want to unbox it. I want to buy this because of I've seen No Time to Die in the in the cinema and it's just so cool with license plates and ejector seat so cool and this is the last movie of the Greg and this is Ars Martin DB5 that is, is featured in Goldfinger Thunderball and then returned with Pierce Brosnan in the Golden Eye and Tomorrow Never Dies and then with Daniel Greg Casino Royale which is my favorite movie by the way uh, and Skyfall and Spectre and in No Time to Die as well. Now, next one is the Lego Advent Calendar 76196 for 30 years. Now, next one is set on number 43180, which is, which is Beauty and the Beast Castle, which I bought for 40 euros. Really want this one because of the winter setting. All smashed up though, but yeah, that's why it was uh, discounted. 40 euros. Yeah. Just thought I should have it. Now, next one. Also for Amazon. Yes. Two Lego sets. So I bought these two in order to make a mock out of it and make the building a little bit larger. And it has the number 31105. I bought each of them for 25 euros, so, so 50 euros in total. I really had to get it for that price. The best price to have them double. Yeah, I will have them three depths up. So it will be the same height as you have um, modular Lego buildings, which are very expensive sets like assembly square. It's two levels and then it gets three levels. At least I try to make it with these two sets. Yeah, very lovely. And then next on is the London and Architecture Lego set, which is 21034. And I bought it for two uh, for I bought it for 28 euros. I really like the set. Um, I've been aiming for it for a while now. Fun to have. Reminds me a little bit of Peter Pan. Especially Peter Pan ride from Disneyland Paris. Or 
this net or this not. But I know it from this land. This land pairs. Alright, next one. Uh, let's see. Can't remember which one this is. Oh, hang on, hang on. Alright, there we go. Like I said, sets. Train rails. Uh, let's see which one it is. It is the uh, one with the switch. And I bought it for 12 euros and 69 cents. And this one is also a train rail set. But this one doesn't have the switch. This one is just some standard rail set. Which uh, has the number 60705. And I bought it for 11 euros and 4 cents. So yeah, both of them were discounted as well. And it's just nice to have an extra of it. Now, this one you just had to have it for the winter theme. It's a very small set. It's a winter's snowball fight. It's 40424. So I bought it for 13 euros. Now, let's open this. It's from a Dutch store and I've also bought it online. Let's see how to open this. Okay, here we go. Step two. Step three. No. <laughs> A little bit stuck there. Yeah. All right, here we go. So, a uh, Lego Disney set. This is Mini and Daisy Duck. On this way. 10773. I bought it for 18 euros. So that's nice to have. Very lucky to get this one because it's out of stock on most of the stores. It's the Lego Star Wars Advent Calendar. But I bought it for 30 euros. And so that's number 75307. Yeah. I don't get it why this store actually, or web shop, uh, puts it all over here on sticker. Okay, so. <laughs> Are you kidding me? So yeah, um, yeah. There you have it. Another advent calendar I did last year as well. Did not finish, but uh, I planned on doing just on one day. Uh, Lego Star Wars advent calendar. Same with the Avengers advent calendar. Hopefully around Christmas. I try to aim for December twenty fourth. Here we go. This is a set I really wanted. But it was always way too expensive. Still expensive, but with the discount it was better for me to grab it now. Although I aimed this Black Friday to buy just maybe one or two Lego sets and end up with a lot. Reason for it is mostly because of discontinued sets and advanced calendars. But yeah, here you have it, 8080 or at at, which is awesome. 40 years of the Empire Strikes Back. I also watched it on, in the cinema uh, in 2020 for the lockdown, which we are now again and can't see the new Spider-Man movie. Also the new Matrix movie, which I was looking forward to. So yeah, now never mind it about that. So I bought it for 100 euros. And I think the reason for that is because of the new 8080 Lego sets. Which very expensive set, it is 800 euros. I won't be buying that one. It's very, very huge set. The new 8080 UCS set is really on scale, which is why it has a lot of Lego pieces and that's why it's very expensive, 800 euros. Now, this one I really want to have. It's a Winter Village fire station set. And of course it's a winter themed, so perfect for me to have a 
winter themed on Christmas Day. Hopefully, if I meant to unbox it here and assemble it. I was lucky to get this one because it's a discotheque set. And I bought the set for 78 years through Bricklink. It can be up to 100 years, this set. Now, next box. Check to last box. Open this. Now, this was also from a uh, Dutch web shop. It is called the Alternate. And I guess the film from Disney, from Jimbo, uh, is free. Because if you buy something on Lego Disney set, you get it for free. But first, a Lego Harry Potter advent calendar. Of course, and, and another advent calendar. So it will be my third Harry Potter advent calendar. And it is Lego set number 76390. And we have a spin to play. That's a nice addition. Better than the other advanced colors, actually. So you get to have a little board game out of it. Not a sticker as well. <laughs> well, I think I will keep that sticker on there because it looks very dangerous to remove. And especially the advent calendars, I want to keep it perfect. And this is the Lego Disney sets, which gave me this one for free. It's Lego set number 10774. This is Mickey and Minnie. Nah. Then this one, this is number three of mine. Lego set Jurassic World in Dominus Rex versus the Ankylosaurus. That's awesome. It's 75941. Uh, this one will be also discontinued. Yeah, I really had to get this one. Um, so yeah, sadly this one will be discontinued. This, so, and why I got it is I need it for my theme park idea. And that is going to be in Disneyland mixed with Jurassic Park or just worlds yeah i really want to have a theme park lego which is also why i want to rent a theme as well and i bought it for 80 euros now, this is second to last set actually yeah now that i see it and this one is speaking of uh, theme park i really want to add this as well this is Lego set 75391 and Luke Skywalker's X-Wing fighter. And you have one in Disneyland Paris uh, on top of the Star Tours, which you can see actually in the video of mine. Just look up Star Tours and then Q and then Spot Games, then you will find it. I will also include it in the description as well, of course. Yeah, so I really want to have this one. It was for 31 euros. This is the last Lego set box I will unbox now. And there's one more of a Christmas theme. That's the only hint I will give you. It's very magical. Here we go. I hope to assemble this one as well before Christmas. But <laughs> I've been very busy with uh, the Game Award show and other games now. There we go. Lego set number 76388. Dark Meat Village Visit. And I bought it for 56 euros. So, I hope you've enjoyed this Black Friday haul of mine. And we'll have more hauls of Lego, of course, because I really want to have the theme park. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Like the video if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And thank you for watching.